health is estimated 5 million Americans are suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Often their care falls to other family members. Well, to help, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is introducing legislation to provide grants to public and nonprofit organizations. The money would be used to improve both patient treatment services and support services for those caring for Alzheimer's patients. Now, that support is front and center for the Alzheimer's Association, which today presented its 13th annual Caregiver Support Conference. Well, I need you to find somebody for Karen Stoby and her husband, Mondi Carter, are providing something often in short supply for those caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's, humor and laughter. <laughs> Their presentation, born out of personal experience as caregivers, provides welcome relief for the hundreds attending the 13th Annual Caregivers Conference, sponsored by the Alzheimer's Association. For Isabella Brown, who cares for her 93-year-old mother and 100-year-old father, it's not only the laughter, but being in a supportive environment. A lot of people try to do this all by themselves. You can't. You can't. When I first started, I would be on the floor crying. You need a lot of support. Isabella and the other attendees also pick up pointers from the dozens of service providers at the conference. Everything from care support to a novel exercise program are on display. Dr. Paul Arciero of Skidmore College is collaborating with Union College on an exercise program for seniors. It incorporates an interactive computer program that has users right along with others. Why is this good for someone with uh, Alzheimer's or other uh, cognitive impairment? Well, what we know through lots of research is that cognition is improved by brain games. And you can be doing those sedentary, but as you can see, I'm actually doing a brain game because I'm engaged in this at the same time I'm becoming out of breath and I'm exercising. The bike project is being used at eight area senior living centers, and if all goes as planned, it might just find its way into the rest of the community. And for more information on support services for caregivers, go to our website, WNYT.com. We have linked to the Alzheimer's Association.